Good morning. Welcome back. For someone with an allergy, an EpiPen can mean the difference between life and death. And unfortunately, they are getting hard to afford, even for people with insurance. This morning, we have a closer look at why the price has gone up so much. Every bite Dylan Fraser takes needs to be watched closely. The nine-year-old has severe food allergies. If we didn't have an EpiPen with us and he had a reaction, it, it could be deathly for him. Kristen Frazier of Duxbury has a strategic plan to make sure an EpiPen is always near Dylan. It's backpack, classroom, in the cafeteria. I carry one, my husband carries one, and we have one in our sports bags. EpiPens are an injectable form of epinephrine, which can quickly reverse an allergic reaction. They're an absolute must for allergy patients. But they've become very expensive for this family. It has gone up significantly over the past few years, I've noticed. It would be hard not to. An EpiPen twin pack has gone from around $60 to more than $400 over the last 10 years. It is a bigger issue across most medications in general now. Professor Todd Brown teaches at Northeastern School of Pharmacy. Pharmaceutical companies have really changed the way they price medications. Used to be related to the impact of the medication, and now it's really changed to essentially how much they can get for the medication. This is only happening in the United States. Those same EpiPens, which cost about $400 here, go for about $85 in France. It doesn't make any sense. One congressman says there is no federal regulation on how high drug prices can go. We have prohibited the government from negotiating prices with drug producers uh, by law, which is a crazy thing to have done. Having this item is absolutely critical. Dr. Mark DiMatteo works in a hospital emergency room. He's concerned some families may be forced to cut back. These events can progress at a very rapid pace, sometimes as quickly as 20 minutes. Under those circumstances, having an EpiPen would be absolutely life-saving. Kristen knows she's lucky her insurance covers a majority of her costs, but her co-pays still aren't cheap and she worries about the future. I have a friend who had to pay $1,000 recently to have all the EpiPens um, she wanted. And, and pay she will because uh, the stakes are high. In a statement, the manufacturer of EpiPens told us that they offer financial help to families who qualify and they have provided free devices to more than 60,000 schools. We have more information on CBSMiami.com.